What would you say to him? He's just joined up with his friends. He's off to France, to the trenches, to a place called the Somme. He's going to fight for his country because his country asked him to volunteer. He didn't come back. And what would you say to him? He's going over the top tomorrow. His family won't see him again. He will die at 7.35 on July the 1st under withering machine gun fire. He didn't come back. And what would you say to these men? 5,000 miles from the verdant foothills of the Indian Himalaya to the intoxicating mud and slaughter of the Somme. All to serve the Empire. They didn't come back. And these men? Do you have anything to say to them? Terrible life-changing injuries, loss of legs and arms, permanent facial disfigurement and irreparable damage from poison gas attacks. But they all came home. And what would you say to this man? Like thousands of other returning soldiers, he had profound mental trauma, what was called shell shock. We know it today as post-traumatic stress disorder, a debilitating psychological condition often caused by experiencing sheer terror. To all of these men, perhaps all we can say is thank you. And this is the Somme today. This is the Tietval Memorial to the Missing of the Somme. On the walls are the names of almost 80,000 soldiers, the remains of whom were never found on the battlefield. Every name is a man. Every one of them is someone's son. All that is left of them today is their name etched in Portland stone next to the names of their fallen comrades, their brothers in arms. The Somme today is a quiet, soulful and pastoral space. Return to agriculture a hundred years after the lives of over a million young men were sacrificed in one of history's bloodiest battles. In almost every field, a cemetery lies silent. Soldiers buried for eternity in the bosom of the earth. Young lives taken in the name of war. Memorials rise high above the horizon. Sun bleached stones signposting another burial place. Another memory of lives lost and of hopes and dreams dashed, of families shattered. Men and boys from distant lands, sacrifice drawn from all corners of the globe, from all religions, colour, creed and belief. The Somme and the First World War made no distinction. It was terrible for all.